No, this isn't the Cumberland River, which is where I've been fishing recently. This is the North Fork of Elkhorn Creek near Georgetown, Kentucky. Quite a different kind of stream. This is warm water, kind of murky. It's got a few bass and some panfish in it. Haven't been here in at least a year or two. Occasionally I catch some fish here, not always. But it was a beautiful afternoon today. Temperature in the mid, um, mid 70s. Sunny, not too humid, so I thought I'd come out and give it a try. I'm gonna be using my fly rod here to see if I can catch some. I'm starting out with a uh, San Juan worm, normally used for trout fishing. I'm not sure I've ever used one in f warm water fishing. Kind of looks like a caterpillar type thing, so I'm gonna be casting it uh, right underneath some branches. Maybe the fish will think it's a caterpillar dropping down onto the water. I'll give it a try for 20 minutes and then maybe try something else. Okay, the skunk is officially out of the boat. <laughs> ah, little sunfish here. I changed to the uh, tiny green popper, my old standby in Florida. And that little guy came up and took it from shoreline, so... All right. All right. All right, let's see if I can catch some more of those guys. And now another one, about twice as big as the first, but still pretty small. Just a couple casts later, fishing towards these rocks here. All right, I think I'll keep this up a while. Well, here's an example of what I call a bluegill. Let me get this guy right side up. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Well, all right, he's a little tiny. Let me see if I can pick him up and get a better picture of him. There he is. Yeah. Or sometimes I think these are called pumpkin seed. I'm not sure what the difference is, but uh, they're real pretty fish. Not very big, but uh, they're willing to hit this popper, so uh, I'm going to keep fishing it. Well, there are some bass in here. This guy's not a giant, but, uh, you know, maybe eight, nine inches, something like that. Came up and hit that popper. Fishing along the shoreline, catching a bunch of these uh, three inch, four inch bluegills, and this guy came up. Okay. He's having trouble right now. Let me see if I can get him off the hook and back in the water. Yeah, this is turning out to be a fun day. Well, it's getting close to the end of the day, or at least I'm going to consider it close to the end of the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. Now here since 2. Caught about 15 of those little guys, plus that one largemouth. Uh, so it turned out better than I thought. They were all small, but when they hit a uh, small popper, it's fun on the fly rod. I think next time I'll bring my five weight fly rod instead of my seven weights. Seven weights really overkill for these fish. Five, might, five weight might do a little better. I'm gonna motor on through this uh, filmy water that's right ahead of us and see if there's a little bit of clear water right on the other side of it and fish for a few more minutes and then uh, head back to the ramp. <laughs> 